Have you ever wanted to create your own website? But how would you actually do it? Well, if we take a look on Google, it's complicated. There are two routes we can go here. We code this ourselves learning HTML and CSS, or we use a popular website builder and one of their many templates, but they usually cost money. So let's check out HTML. Let's start with HTML basics. Think of your HTML page as if it was built of Legos, but instead of Lego bricks, you get HTML tags. These HTML tags make up the UI for your website. Alright, let's find a cheat sheet. You don't need to know everything about HTML to get started. You can see we can create a minimal page with this snippet here where we throw everything inside this body tag. Next, we have text content, headings, H1 through 6, paragraphs, as well as the ability to format our text. Next, we have the content, which includes links, images, lists. You can see they're all pretty self-explanatory. These HTML tags will help us get started, and we're going to be referencing this again as we need it. Now that we know how to structure our HTML page with these tags or Legos, how do we actually make it look pretty? Well, that's where CSS comes into the equation. And the easiest way to think about this is if SpongeBob is HTML, then Patrick is CSS. Without one, the other is a little boring. Both together, well then, it's game over. We have a nice website. All right, back to Google. We need another cheat sheet. I recommend checking out this cheat sheet, but at its core, CSS selectors are a bunch of key value pairs that apply styles to your HTML tags. Anything from margins, borders, padding, colors, fonts, transformations, and much, much more. In a second, we'll take a look at an example, but before we do, I want to mention the most important and difficult part of CSS is positioning your HTML tags. I think the easiest way to do this is using Flexbox, which is a way of positioning HTML tags into rows and columns. And the best place to learn this is using this website called Flexbox Fry. Alright, now we have a basic understanding of HTML and CSS. Let's build a project. We're going to be creating this Linktree clone. To get started, I recommend heading over to this website where we can practice our new skills. We're going to start off by creating some HTML. You can see that I started out by creating an image tag, followed by a heading, and then a paragraph or a limited description. Next thing we need to do is create a link that will go to my Twitter profile. Now on to the CSS. I'm going to start off by positioning everything using Flexbox in the middle of the screen. And then we're just going to apply some styles. You can see that all of these are key value pairs where I set the colors, the border radius, alignment, margins, and a few other things. If you get stuck during this process, feel free to refer to the cheat sheet or just googling CSS followed by what you're trying to do will usually find you an answer. Now that we've created our website inside of JS Fiddle, how do we actually deploy it and host it? That way we can send it to our friends. Well, it's actually not too difficult. First, we're going to create an HTML file, then upload it to GitHub. Then we're going to connect it with Netlify, which is a free hosting platform for websites. It's a quick process and honestly, you're going to be pretty surprised how easy it is. All right, let me show you. All right, step one, create a new directory with the index.html file. I'm using VS Code. I recommend downloading these two plugins, one for HTML support, and the second one called Browser Preview, which allows us to see the website right within VS Code. If you start typing HTML, you'll get autocomplete for the basic structure of a website. Update the title to your name, paste in the HTML into the body, Last but not least, create a style tag and paste in the CSS. Now let's preview our website. We can type Shift Command O, which will allow us to run our extension. 
and inside the browser we can see our website's looking nice. The last thing I'm going to add is a selector to change the opacity anytime we hover over the link. Alright, that looks better. Now let's upload this to GitHub. That way we can deploy it on Netlify. I created a new repo inside of GitHub. All I'm going to do is commit my changes and push this to GitHub. You can see this is the repo on GitHub and it has our index.html file. All that's left is to log into Netlify, create a new website from Git, find your repo that has your project in it, and then finally just set the publish directory to the root. And now for the best part, deploy the site. Once Netlify is done building the project, you're going to get a link that you can send to your friends or even set up a custom domain. As you can see, it's just a three-step process. Alright, so the website's done building, and now the moment of truth, we can click the link to check it out. And just like that, there's our site. So we have a complete Linktree clone that goes to our social media pages, 100% free and built by us. Hey y'all, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a like on it and subscribe to the channel. If you want the code that was in this video, as well as the Figma file for the website, check it out on my Patreon, where I post all that stuff, as well as some tutorials and other cool stuff. All right, well, I'll see y'all in the next one.